just sitting here at the cafe I stumbled across. This is what happens when you walk around London. You find little home of all places like this. rainy day in London. We're gonna go walk around Bloomsbury and discover the treats that Bloomsbury has to offer. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods and we're just gonna have ourselves a day. Also, I love wearing my rain boots. They make me feel like a child again. So, I'm so excited. I'm like a country girl again. There we go. I sort of updated my outfit a bit. I like the space in between the scarf and the jacket. Don't know why, sort of, I don't know. Don't know how to explain it, but I like it. And so now we're wearing this with the rain boots like I showed y'all. Okay, it does not look like that we're gonna be able to go to the British Museum. The line is so long. And I should have known because it's raining. People like going to museums when it's raining, but look how pretty Bloomsbury is. We're already here. If you can see, the houses are so cute how they're lined up like that. We're gonna continue going to my favorite cafe in Bloomsbury. so you can go and look around in the books. But they also have cheaper coffee. They have a punch card that you can get, you know, like buy 10 and you get, I don't know, the 11th one free. But their coffee is cheaper, on the cheaper side. So I definitely recommend if you need a study place or if you're just wanting to read your book and kind of just be in a really cute cafe. Or even if you're at the end of your book, so then you can go and get a new book. That's what's so wonderful about this cafe. It's called Dylan's Coffee in Waterstones. It's in Bloomsbury and it's amazing. They also have a photo booth. So if you want that black and white photo booth that everyone just keeps doing, it's here. So it looks like there's a little food market right here. like a true Brit and I did oat milk as well and two sugars <laughs> and Taylor Swift just released technically a vault track song from Lover that didn't make the final cut So we are currently in Russell Square Gardens next to it and I know it's a little bit on the edge of Holborn and Bloomsbury but I wanted to share this one place that I really really enjoy. I've eaten breakfast here a couple of times. I'm actually, I have plans to eat breakfast here on Sunday. We're doing brunch. If you're ever near Russell Square and you're hungry for a brunch, great great food and it's not that expensive. So this is Russell Square Gardens. And over there in the corner, that's the restaurant. So definitely give it a try. They have outdoors and inside seating. Oh my gosh, let's look at these flowers too. Today's a really good day. We are now walking 
walking to a Gale's Bakery in Bloomsbury. Hopefully they're gonna have those almond croissants that I told y'all about. Today we are just walking around London, having fun, trying to have fun, trying to figure out something to do because I have turned in all my masters, so all three of my projects are turned in, and I have time to just hang around London and not do much, not really do anything. So that's what we're doing today. We are standing here in an alleyway. Don't worry, it's safe. It's not like a too scary of an alleyway but not many people are walk by here, so that's why I'm over here recording this. It's still like, you still get nervous recording in public. It's still a thing. I shouldn't because I'm never gonna see these people again, most likely, and I still do. A few updates before we continue walking around this wonderful city is that one of the places I'm traveling next month, because I'm traveling to three places like I told y'all, one of them, I'll tell you, I'm going home for the Taylor Swift Eras tour. I'm so excited, so excited to go to the Taylor Swift tour. I can't believe I get to go and I'm so, so overly excited. I'm picking out my outfit this week as we speak. I think I found the dress, found my hair, how I'm doing it, and I found my shoes. It's all gonna be look great. I can't wait for that reveal, but that will come in a later vlog. So I'm doing that. Like I told y'all, I finished my masters and in two, three weeks, around two to three weeks, I will be heading off to one my first place of my travels and I'm not gonna tell you until that vlog comes out, okay? I know y'all really want to know, but we're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna tell you till then. Also, I'm still growing up my bangs, so I just don't know how to do hairstyles anymore. I clean my hair, I wash my hair, not clean, but I wash my hair today and I put it up in a bun. I didn't even like do anything with it because like walking around, see this is how I'm gonna look walking, I'll show you. That's how I look walking the street. So if you ran into me, that's how I look. Normally I do that in my room on my iPhone and I take videos and I'll like do different angles of how my hair would look. <laughs> I know that's super silly, but I bet you there's probably people who do that too. And yeah, I'm gonna quit rambling and wasting time because we could be walking around London and figuring and not figuring and just enjoying life here as I always do sometimes. I'm so used to living here now that it's not as romanticized, but I'm trying to do better. Oh, also, I finished Throne of Glass, finished Kingdom Bash. It was amazing, the best series I've ever read. I know it totally trumps A Court of Thrones and Roses in different ways. I don't know if I can say it's better because A Court of Thrones and Roses has my heart, but it's an epic series and the plot, it all comes back around, which I like because I think that's the best kind of story you can read is when it all intertwines and comes together. I hate when stories, it's just stuff is just pulled out of thin air and it doesn't make sense to the plot and it's just random. But Sarah J Mass, like she does really good at implementing it really early on before you even know and then bringing it all full circle, which is great. I am now gonna start Crescent, Crescent City this week. I already bought the books on my Kindle. I've been debating if I want to get the first book in paper because I just want to hold the thick book and to make myself feel good that I'm reading a really long, really big book. So we'll see if I buy that. And that's the whole update. So let's keep going though and keep talking. So yeah, let's go. Should we go in and just see? I think we should. super cool. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna like bring you as if you're walking in. Ready?
super cool, right? I love the free people store right here too. It's so cute. It is strangely not that busy today out in Covent Garden. There have been a lot of tube strikes recently in London and it's a lot of the tube drivers protesting. I'm not exactly sure if it's the same each time, but normally it's pay and they don't run. So not many people have a way, a cheap way to get into the city. They either have to drive or bus it, which you don't want to take a bus when there's tube strikes because, oh my gosh, it's way too busy. Now we're going through to the other side of Covent Garden where there's more shops. good pictures here. I used to take my tripod with me everywhere. I would have days of just content so I would actually go out and wear a cute outfit and try to get you know really creative pictures to resemble the life I was living here and I loved it. I love doing it but I just haven't been in the mood to do it and it's so weird because I've been doing this since high school so it's not normal for me to not be doing it if that makes sense. And I really think it has to do with my acne and all the Accutane I'm on and so it just, my self-confidence is just not there. And my bangs, I don't like my bangs, my hair like this anymore. I just want it to grow out and change. So that's why I'm just not, I'm just not feeling myself recently. Actually since like January I'd say I haven't been really feeling myself and I've just not been feeling like who I am. Wow, this red door can really like make you vulnerable and <laughs> make you want to talk. But I'm okay with it, honestly, because, I mean, what's life without ups and downs? Could you just imagine it being straight and everything being fine all the time? That just wouldn't make sense, and it wouldn't make life worth living. So, I'm in my down, and I've been in my down for a while now. I truly understand when the Friends theme song goes, When it hasn't been your day or month, or no, When it hasn't been your day or week or month or even your year, but be there for you because I at first I was like wow can someone not really be on it for a month let alone a whole year but example a now I just have not been feeling myself ever since I started my Accutane so hopefully by June when I'm off of the Accutane it will be so much better so much better I even have makeup on today normally I don't do makeup but I have it on today. I don't know if you can see or notice, but I think it makes me it makes me more confident. Let's go. So this donut shop has amazing donuts. I will show you my favorite. Let's go over. Well, it looks like they actually don't have my favorite. But normally it's the cinnamon one. So if you see like a cinnamon crunch sort of deal, that's the one so good we're gonna walk down drury lane i'm gonna continue going i might pop into this one coffee shop i know is there they have an amazing toasty great ham and cheese toasty don't know if i want to get it or not and i'm not taking the tube anywhere i'm just walking everywhere because i do live in central london so everything is pretty much a 20 30 minute walk away that's how that works if anyone's watching this and they're not used to London or how it works, don't really know. That is the Top Secret Comedy Club, and it is free. You can make a donation if you want to, but it is a great night. Some nights aren't free though. I think like Saturday, Friday, Saturday weekend nights aren't free. They're around like five pounds, something like that. And it's a really great time, it's really fun. And this right here is the restaurant slash cafe. It's really amazing, it's really good. And I'm gonna go in. And 
actually am not. <laughs> um, they don't have a ham and cheese toasty, which is okay. I think they ran out. So now we're gonna continue walking. Thank you.